I'd got the hive, I'd got the fun suit, I'd got the tools, I'd uh, taken the course and I joined the club. So uh, I was in a great place, just didn't have any bees. I was told uh, whilst I was taking the course that over the road, not far from me, lived another beekeeper. Well, I first got into bees, um, I'm, I'm guessing, possibly 15, 16 years ago. We visited the monastery down at Farnborough. It was a particular monk who suggested that uh, I should go with him the, the, after a day or so down to the apiary where they had quite a large quantity of hives. And he just introduced me to the apiary, introduced me to the, to the workshops and said, this is the world of bees. And I have to say, from that second, I was hooked. Andy was uh, nice enough not only to involve me in his own beekeeping and show me some practical, uh, hands-on techniques, but he also established me a small hive called a nucleus, which uh, started off my first hive of bees. My bees can uh, certainly uh, find and uh, will be well familiar with uh, Andy's apiary across the road, being only a few hundred yards away. And um, an easy way of getting honey from one hive uh, is to pinch it from another hive. <laughs> I think there's a, in, the, in the world of, of, of bees, um, where there's a local, if you want a local uh, beekeeper or beekeepers, they, they, they interact, I'm quite convinced of that, um, they interact on, 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 the, uh, uh, on the nectar flow, etc. And they just get on with it and it all goes back to their particular hive and they don't let any other bees get into the hive that is bees with the wrong smell or wrong whatever they don't let them happen they might pop over to my garden my my local beekeeper not my my pop over there but they've all got a job to do and if there's pollen out there and, and there's nectar out there and it's on flow they, they just get on with doing it and peacefully i i, I understand you know in the later part of the season uh, the bees become quite defensive because they've collected some honey and um, Sometimes the weaker hives will be raided by uh, parties of pillaging bees from the stronger hives uh, and that includes my pillaging bees going over and raiding Andy's as well as his coming over and raiding mine. And we hope that the bees will defend their, uh, their hives lining up round the entrance with hundreds of little beady eyes peering out looking for raiding parties and hopefully heading them off before they can come and pinch the honey. The honey I get uh, from my hives is, um, is, is pure Cheshire honey um, and it's, it's been tested, we do know, from on various uh, laboratories around the northwest and it's come out on top as being one of, the, one of the best honeys in the country really. You get a bit of robbery going on because it's easy pickings and uh, in they go and take it and off they go. Yeah. The idea I have to um, increase the size of the hives for uh, the autumn season is to make sure that there's lots of bees in there to keep themselves warm and to make sure that next season I come out of winter with uh, happy healthy hives in the spring that are of a good size and are going to get off to a flying start and uh, hopefully make me lots of honey and wax again next year. The force is strong with you and your sister and her sister, and your other sister, and her other sister, and their other sister, and your other sister's sister, and their sister, and her sister, and our sister, and your other sister.